Oh, good morning. <laughs> uh, it's 6.28 a.m. on Wednesday, July 20th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Somehow, my brain just forgot the uh, relationship between... Click start recording. Watch it go. Three, two, one. Live. And then start talking. But it worked out okay. How are you guys? <laughs> um, I had a pretty good evening last night. Just, uh, you know, got my writing done. And it was a uh, an episode of Phyllis that I'm excited about. You know, I talked about uh, number 200 yesterday. Uh, but uh, just, I feel like I'm happy with where the story's at right now. So that's good. And then uh, when I finished that, I uh, spent a little time watching a few more episodes of Netflix's Stranger Things, which is continuing to um, entertain so far. Uh, I'm up through episode four right now. If you're not familiar with it, uh, basically it's this weird sort of anachronistic throwback where everything is so it's set in the 80s but it's more than just the setting it really feels like everything from the aesthetic to the character tropes to the special effects feels like it's from the 80s and when i say the special effects from the 80s i don't just mean like i, I don't mean they literally did them the way they do in the 80s it's more like they evoke the sort of imagery you get with 80s special effects while actually still slicking them up a little bit. Um, the whole thing really is very deliberately evocative of um, 80s movies, particularly like Spielberg. You know, uh, you get E.T., and um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind in there very heavily. Um, also, uh, you know, just other, you know, think about your classic 80s sci-fi and horror movies. And uh, it's Poltergeist, definitely way in there. Maybe a little bit of The Thing, even. Um, and... Yeah, so it's really good. I mean, the the plot is almost beside the point at this <laughs> at this stage, where because um, it's really kind of just a really slick and entertaining genre exercise. Honestly, um, we have a group of kids, their friends. One of their friends goes missing. They're looking for him, and they find this girl who seems like she's maybe escaped from a secret government testing facility. Which is apparently exactly what has happened. So, it's, yeah, it's good stuff. I'm enjoying it so far. And while working on that, as an excellent uh, pair, I was working on some new toys that I got. Uh, it was a new Lego set themed with the Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters movie. Um... I, that which just reminds me, I promised to do another Ghostbusters review video since the sound was so bad when I did the other one. I still haven't gotten around to that. If you were waiting, I loved it. I really liked it a lot. I think it's really good. I thought it was very funny. I can certainly understand that comedies are subjective, and so not everybody's going to like it as much as I did, but I sure did. So there. So I and I got the Lego set. So. In order, the Lego set came with Lego Aaron, you know, played by Christine Wig, Lego Abby, played by mm, Melissa McCarthy. It's hard to make it focus where I want it to. Let's see if I can force it. Turn off autofocus. There we go. Lego Patty. Lego Abby. 
Lego Kevin with the Ecto-2 motorcycle. Uh, of note, you can turn his uh, face around to make uh, possessed, possessed Kevin face. He's on his motorcycle. Lego Holtzman with goggles. And, uh, of course, the main event, the Lego Ecto-1. And it's got, I uh, can't show you on the side. Oh, no! Uh, this is what I get for um, trying to do point stuff away from me. What I was trying to demonstrate. Ah! I'm, see, I'm pulling on the wrong thing. The door opens. That's that was the problem there is that I was I was pulling on this piece which is not the part that opens. Um, so yeah, and then we've got uh, the back door opens. So you can put their proton packs in there, and then of course the whole roof lifts off, so you can actually put them in the car if you want. And yeah. So, Ghostbusters Legos. Eee. Do 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 do. Um, and then, uh, if you didn't see their proton packs, you can. And then uh, you can. Uh, you can take the little proton wand or whatever. Now, what I will say. Here we go. That. Yeah. Um. What? It, oh, let me put the autofocus back on. Oh, I'm already way over. So I've actually run in a little bit late this morning. So I'm not gonna belabor the point, other than to say, yay Ghostbusters, yay Legos, yay Stranger Things, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.